picking up some Republican support. 187 lawmakers still voted no. We are following the story from several angles, including how the upcoming trial will differ from the president's last. Uh, but first, uh, last night, but first, News for Jack's uh, reporter Ashley Harding will join us live. Uh, Ashley, all but basically one of our local representatives voted against impeachment. Jennifer, yes, good morning, and that is what happened. Of our area's five representatives, there was only one who voted yay, and not surprisingly to some, it was the lone Democrat representing our area. It's the most bipartisan impeachment vote in United States history, with 10 Republican congressmen and women voting in favor of impeaching President Donald Trump. None of those 10 were from our area. Of the five local representatives, the four Republicans voted no. Congressman John Rutherford released a statement criticizing the endeavor, but was quick to condemn last week's violence. He said in part, those who stormed the Capitol caused the death of a police officer and injured many others must be held accountable for their actions. It is past time our country finds our way back together to heal our open wounds. A vote to impeach the president without proper due process and with only seven days left in office only further divides us. For that reason, I voted no. Representative Mike Waltz also gave his reaction and his reason for voting no. He said on Twitter, impeachment further entrenches our nation's divides, jeopardizing peaceful transfer of power. With one week until inauguration, what our country needs most is That's why I voted against impeaching the president today on the House floor. Finally, the lone Democrat Al Lawson said, quote, Today's vote was about upholding our American democracy by inciting a violent insurrection upon the U.S. Capitol. President Trump has betrayed his most fundamental trust as president. And Representative Kat Kamak also released a statement saying, quote, that the motive to impeach does nothing more than to further divide our nation. And we also heard from Congressman Buddy Carter up in Georgia, who said his purpose now and intent is to work with the incoming administration for the greater good. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. Ashley, thank you. Let's talk more 